Hi, my name is Christina Fry, and I'm the Director of Marketing, Fund Development, and Group Exercise at the Stevens Family YMCA in Champaign, Illinois. We are so excited to partner with Halley Health, a new health and wellness program just for you. This resource offers you things like exercise classes led by some of us here at the YMCA, as well as health and wellness resources and programs, cooking demonstrations, and even a weekly Halley Health Cast where you get lots of great information from local medical experts. Hey, we are excited to take you through a bunch of different workouts to help you work on your fitness journey and just being a healthier version of you. As you complete these workouts, we wanna make sure that you're doing a couple of things. So one, always make sure that you are working underneath the guidance of your healthcare provider. Two, be on the lookout for options and choices from all of our instructors so that you can dial up or dial down the workout, right? Make it work for you. At the end of the day, we want you to feel great moving your body and feel successful when you are done. We're so excited to be part of your health and wellness journey and for this partnership with Holly Health. For more information on Holly Health, please go to Holly.com. That's H-A-L-L-Y.com. All right, let's get your bodies moving. Hi, my name is Rachel. Today we're going to be doing yoga. You don't have to have a yoga mat, but if you don't have a yoga mat, I strongly encourage you to make sure that you're in bare feet so you don't slip in your socks. We're going to start on the floor and we'll end on the floor and in between we'll be doing some, uh, some of the traditional poses of yoga. So make yourself at home on the mat. So make your way down to the mat. We're gonna start on our back so that we can stretch our spine and totally be supported by the floor. So pull those knees tight into your chest and just gently rock side to side. Soften your shoulders, stretch your face a little bit. And then take a big inhale, full body stretch. Reach it all the way out. Open and close your mouth. Point and flex your feet. And then again, bring those knees tight into your chest. And bring your nose towards your knees, but draw your shoulders down. Bring your head back down, feet flat on the floor, as wide as the mat. Arms out to the side in a T. Take a big inhale here and exhale it out your mouth. Start to take those knees side to side in big, slow windshield wipers. Maybe taking your head in the opposite direction so that your whole spine is involved. Keep breathing nice and easy through your nose. And then again, inhale, full body stretch, reach it all the way out. Bring those heels tight into your butt, arms tight into your side. Inhale, pressing up into bridge. Exhale, roll it back down. Inhale, pressing up. Exhale, roll it back down. One more time and hold it, pressing up. Take those arms out to the side in a T, palm face up. Soften your jaw and your chin. Draw your belly button towards your spine, tailbone towards your knees. Give yourself a big, tight bear hug, rolling down. Bring the soles of your feet together, knees splay out. Arms down by your side. Take a nice inhale here and exhale it out your mouth. Start to draw your attention inward. Retune your senses. Peeling through the layers of you that relate to everyone and everything else until you come to that space of you relating to you right here and now just as you are. And from that space, bringing up gratitude for all that makes it possible for you to be here in the midst of everything. 
Gratitude for your physical health. Despite aches and pains and frustrations with your body, you are healthy and strong enough today to show up for this class. Press your knees together, scooting your feet out away from each other. Take a big inhale, bringing those hands underneath your head or your arms out to the side, whichever is gonna work better to release across your chest, feeling that support in your upper back. Gratitude for your mental health. Despite anxiety and stress, despite conflict and distraction, you were able to make the decision to be here and follow through on that decision. And stretch your arms and legs out into a huge starfish. Take up lots and lots of space. Inhale, reach. Exhale, release. <sighs> Gratitude for any sense of spiritual health. That despite some really hard days, maybe some grief or depression, loneliness or fear, Despite all that, there was also enough levity and momentum, enough hope and confidence in this practice to pull yourself up off the couch, away from whatever else you were doing or could be doing, and show up. With all that gratitude and resilience that is strong in you, send out some hope and love and courage to the people and the places, all of those situations struggling for such health today. Take a big inhale, full body stretch, reach it all the way out. Bring those feet tight into your butt, hands, arms tight into your side. Inhale, press up in a bridge. Exhale, roll it down. Inhale, pressing up. Exhale, roll it down. One more time and hold it, pressing up. Give yourself a big, tight bear hug, rolling down. Pull that right knee into your chest. Bring your nose towards your knee. Bring your head back down, extending that left leg along the floor. Point and flex your feet. Wiggle your toes. Take that right knee out and up towards your right armpit, extending the left arm out to the side. Take nice inhales and exhales through your nose, letting your body be totally supported by the floor. Pull that knee across your body, extending the right arm out to the side. Ground through your shoulder, let that hip roll over. Soften your jaw. Bring yourself back in the center. Bring that knee into your chest again and your nose towards your knee. Bring your head back down. Extend that right leg up in the air, holding on behind the thigh. If this is too much of a strain on your hamstring, please bend the left leg, bringing that foot flat on the floor. Point and flex that right leg again. And take that right ankle on top of your left thigh. Reach the arms overhead along the floor. And then draw that left thigh in towards your chest, holding on behind the thigh. If this is too much of a strain, please bring that left foot flat on the floor and push the right leg away from you. Otherwise, you're drawing that left thigh in towards your chest. Ease up effort in your shoulders. And bring that left foot flat on the floor. Right leg crosses over nice and tight. Arms out to the side in a T. Take those cross legs over to the left, coming into a deep twist. You might adjust that right shoulder so you're not straining it. 
bring yourself back in a center, keeping your legs crossed. And take those crossed legs over to the right. And back into center. Inhale, full body stretch. Reach it all the way out. Bring those heels tight into your butt, arms tight into your side. Again, inhale, press up into bridge. Exhale, roll it down. Inhale, pressing up. Exhale, roll it down. One more time and hold it, pressing up. Take the arms out to the side in a T, palm face up. Give yourself a big, tight bear hug, rolling down. Pull that left knee into your chest. Bring your nose towards your knee. Bring your head back down, extending that right leg along the floor. Point and flex your feet, wiggle your toes. Take that knee out and up towards your left armpit. Extend the right arm out to the side. Take some nice inhales and exhales through your nose. Pull that left knee across your body, extending the left arm out to the side. Soften your jaw. Trust that it's already working. Bring yourself back in a center and extend that left leg up in the air, holding on behind the thigh. Again, if this is too much of a strain on your left leg, bring that right foot flat on the floor. Everybody bring that left ankle on top of your right thigh. Inhale, reach the arms overhead, getting some length in your body. And then draw that right thigh in towards your chest, holding on behind the thigh. Or keeping that right foot on the floor, if that is better for your hips today. Right foot flat on the floor, left leg crosses over nice and tight. Arms up to the side in a T, take a big inhale here and exhale, take those cross legs over to the right. This is a deep twist. You might put some pillows under here, that might feel better. Bring yourself back in a center but keeping your legs crossed and then take those legs over to the left. And back in the center. Inhale, full body stretch. Reach it all the way out. Bring those feet flat on the floor as wide as the mat. Arms out to the side. Start to take those knees side to side again. Big, slow windshield wipers. Maybe taking your head in the opposite direction. And then roll over to one side. Come up onto hands and knees. If you, if it hurts to bring your feet, your hands flat on the floor, please come up onto your fists. Otherwise, spread those fingers out. Wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. This is called cat cow. So inhale, head up, tail up, that's cow or cat, no, cow, excuse me. Exhale, round your back, this is cat. Inhale, open up. Exhale, round your back, head is down. One more time, inhale, open up. Wag your tail side to side. Come back into neutral. On your next inhale, extend the left arm straight ahead, right leg straight back. Soften your neck and jaw. And then squeeze in the center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Bring it down. Other side, extend that right arm and left leg. Soften your jaw. Push away from the floor. Squeeze in the center. Inhale, reach. 
exhale squeeze inhale reach and bring it down roll yourself up onto your knees curl the feet under hands to your butt or your low back roll the shoulders back and down inhale heart towards the ceiling exhale round your shoulders to the front head is down inhale open up squeeze those shoulder blades heart towards the ceiling exhale round your shoulders head is down one more time this is camel pose squeeze those shoulders heart towards the ceiling exhale round the shoulders hands to the floor walk them forward just a little bit and then take your hips to your heels and make big hip circles nice and easy and then go in the other direction and curl those feet under take your knees as wide as the mat bring your hips towards your heels and extend those arms out i call this low dog some people call it puppy pose reach the arms long pull your hips back take some nice inhales and exhales through your nose letting your breath shift and adjust the pose and when you're ready moving into downward facing dog in down dog you use your arms to get your hips back you use your legs to get your hips up release effort in your neck inhale forward into plank slow and controlled all the way down extend the arms back inhale lift into locust exhale down hands tighten towards your chest push back into low dog so curl those feet under big inhale here reach the arms long and then exhale bring the hands to the back of your neck soften your jaw keep pulling those hips back drawing your shoulders down and away from each other then bring those hands to the floor and press yourself up in a downward facing dog. Pressing those heels towards the floor, extend through your fingers. Take that right leg up in the air, press the. Bring that right foot to the top of the mat, pick it up if you need to. Pull that right shin forward, left heel back. Get the effort in your legs, left hand to the floor, reach the right arm up, open your chest, soften your neck. Hand to the floor, step back in a down dog. Inhale forward in a plank, slow and controlled all the way down. Extend those arms back, inhale lift in a locust, exhale down. Push back into low dog, hips to heels. Nice inhales and exhales through your nose. And move into down dog. Heels towards the floor, hips towards the corner where the ceiling and the wall meet. Take that left leg up in the air, press your right heel down. Bring that foot to the top of the mat. Pull that left shin forward, right heel back. Get the effort in your legs, right hand to the floor, reach that left arm up. Soften your neck and jaw. Hand to the floor, step back in a down dog. Walk your feet into your hands, coming in a forward fold. Bend your knees a little bit, grab opposite elbows, release your head and neck. So you're bending your knees so that you can release your spine to gravity. That is not your work to do. You want gravity to lengthen your spine. Your job is to get your hips up so gravity can pull your spine down. 
Then bend your knees nice and deep, pushing through your legs. Roll yourself up. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Empty coat sleeves. Let those arms flop around. Step the right leg back, coming into warrior two. Extend the arms out, gazing over your left fingers. Bend the left knee. You might need to scoot that right heel a little bit further back. So you feel nice and stable, but not stuck. Left palm face up, reach up and back, reverse warrior. Left elbow to left thigh, reach that right arm up and over hips come down a little bit. Tuck that right arm behind your back towards your left hip. Draw that right shoulder down and look over it. Both hands to the floor, pivot your back foot, scoot the left foot over a little bit. Bring the right knee down. Inhale, press up. Exhale, shift your weight forward. Aim the heart out and up. Soften your jaw. Big hip flexor stretch here. Hands to the floor, shift your weight back, extending that left leg. You might walk your hands closer to you. And shift your weight forward, bring the heart up. Take that right elbow across your left thigh, hands together. Use that elbow to leverage the twist. So you're twisting your heart towards the left. You're twisting your spine rather. Cur stay just like this or curl that right foot under, shifting your weight forward, coming up onto your feet. Hands to the floor, step back in a down dog. <clears throat> Take some nice inhales and exhales through your nose. Take that right leg up in the air, press your left heel down. Bring that foot to the top of the mat. Take a moment, pull that right shin forward, left heel back. Get the effort in your legs, left hand to the floor, reach that right arm up, open your chest to the side. Hand to the floor, step in a forward fold. Grab opposite elbows. Bend your knees, pushing through your legs. Roll yourself up. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Empty coat sleeves, let those arms flop around you. Step that left leg back in a warrior two. Extend the arms out. Bend the front knee. You're gazing over your right fingers. Pull the belly button up towards your shoulder blades. Your shoulders are down in their sockets. Right palm face up, reach up and back. Reverse warrior. Right elbow to right thigh, reach that left arm up and over your hips might come down a little bit deeper. Tuck that left arm behind your back towards your right hip. Draw the left shoulder down and look over it. Both hands to the floor, pivot your back foot and scoot that right foot over. Bring the left knee down. Inhale, press up. Shift your weight forward, aim the heart out and up. Hands to the floor. Shift your weight back, extending that right leg. Soften your neck and jaw. And then shift.